Um, hi, everyone. My name is Shojil Khan. I'm a PhD student at Georgia Tech. Um, over the summer, I interned at the Google, and I worked on like LinkedIn optimizations, like order files. Um, so if you don't know what an order file is, it's basically a, a text file containing symbols representing function names. Um, there's an example right there, main, quick sort, merge, merge sort. Um, typically, the linker uses them to, order, uh, to lay out the functions in a particular order in the binary. And these order binaries typically you know, reduce page faults and improve launch time. People get 5%, some people get like 2%. Um, but there, there are a bunch of different ways of doing it. Some people use gprof. There's something called standard coverage. Um, there's actually auto file flags in LLVM, but you know, not, not, not that many people use it. And very recently, uh, there's something called IRPGO. They added like a temporal thing to like figure out this auto file stuff. Um, and so, like you know, if you use an auto file, you can get a bind like this, and they can change the order. It's typically mostly useful for startup time um, because you know you want an app to launch very fast. And so this is an example of one of the cases which you have. Um, there's a profiling scheme, and then there's that order file compilation time. Typically, the, the compilation is typically the same. They use a symbol called symbol ordering file. Um, in this one, the LLVM order file, it has a, a C code, which is compiled into an executable. It generates two files. Um, one is a proof raw file, which is basically, um, and one is a mapping file. The mapping file is with an MD5 hash representing the function, and the proof raw will contain that hash. So you can put it back into an order. Um, the, the thing about you know, doing all this profiling and stuff is that sometimes um, you may profile more function than you need. Basically, what I mean by, what I mean by that is now, um, sometimes you profile the shared library functions, which you don't compile with the application. They compile separately. Or maybe you only care until the startup point, because you might use like, the, rest of the, the rest of the function. You might use some other optimizations for the rest of the, the, rest of the application. So typically, you can ignore all of them using the no warn symbol ordering, but sometimes it's useful to remove them, you know? And so in our case, we decided to remove some functions that are not needed, and it helped us to improve our performance. But this is only like for one order file. But if you run an application at the time or with different devices, you may get different order files, you know? Do you just choose one? Do you, do you, do you, do you go one by one checking which one's the best, or do you merge them? Um, in Android, we build, we kind of build like a graphical, uh, a graph-based system to like co combine the order files. And Meta, they use something called a balanced partitioning technique. But you know, when you're merging them, how do you like maintain this order file that's good or bad? And so what we do typically, uh, what we did was basically we try and validate some based on some criteria. Of course, any order file needs to have no duplicates, so we try to make sure that's possible. Um, some programs, some particular programmers have particular specific criteria for like. Hey, this symbol should be included in the order files. This one shouldn't for security reasons for other stuff also. And sometimes the order file has very less symbols, so it's not even useful. Um, we do we do, some, do something extra, which is basically a partial ordering, where we try to like um, build it from the control flow and try to see like this is another example: main foo bar bad is our order file. We try to see if it defines if it's if it's correctly based on some partial order. It doesn't have to represent the entire order what we have. So like. It, does it, is it correct based on our partial order of main baths? Yes. Is it correct based on convert split? Those symbols are not there, but it still is correct because they're not violating any con uh, case we have. But if you have a case like baths bar, it's the opposite. We know it, it's basically failing it. And so basically, we try to make sure we, we can uh, allow many partial orders, maybe one is not completely right. So we try to check them all and see that they're correctly fine. And that's basically what we do. Thank you.